Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome back for another toy news and today we have quite a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Okay, first thing first, I would like to say is that congratulations for those of you who are waiting for the Mayfax Magneto because finally we can see the box picture here. That means that this guy is coming out around the corner, at least in Hong Kong, I believe, and then you're followed by the other countries. So yes, it does look pretty good there. So let's keep our finger crossed that there's no problem with this one. And the next one we'll go through is some Marvel Legends. Yes, I believe those of you guys who actually follow the Hasbro Pulse, there was a live stream going on yesterday and uh, they announced quite a number of things. And let's begin with the Spider-Man Wave from the No Way Home and we can see the Spider-Man that we have already seen before. This one is the one, the normal suit with the gold emblems around his chest. Yeah, this looks pretty good there. I think we have seen this before as well, the Black Spider-Man. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> want this guy here because he just looks pretty dope <laughs> yep and then the next one we have is Morland. okay this i'm not very familiar with but my buddy told me he's from the spider Wars. okay and then we have the marvel shrek again someone that i'm not pretty familiar with and we just have a doctor strange yeah i believe you have seen this guy before the face cup is looking pretty good as well the lightness is there i would say and the next one is the one that I wanted most is Mr. J. Jonah Jameson's. Yes, this is from the uh, Far From Home versions. Yeah, the bald version. I kind of hope that they actually mix the uh, Sam Raimi version. That's pretty fun as well. <laughs> Yeah, but this one just looks pretty good. He comes with two different heads, as you can see, a calm look here and also an angry scolding people kind of look. <laughs> yeah, this one will be pretty fun as well. And the last one we have is the uh, from the gamer verse, the Miles Morales version. Yeah, I kind of like the uh, electric fight uh, hands there. Looks pretty cool. Wow, it just looks pretty good there. And this have an unmasked head as well. Okay, and from here we can see that it's the build a figure, which is the Marvel's Amadillo. I'm not familiar with this bad guy here. He looks pretty huge to me. Yep, and this picture actually shows the six uh, figures that will actually make him up. There's a build a figure in each and every one except for one, which is the original Spider Man suit that we have seen just now. And speaking of Spider Man, we have another Walmart exclusive that you can see right now. This is something like a, uh, the what they call it the Spider Man uh, upgraded suit. I believe this is the MCU one, but somehow someone enlightened me, please, because I think they are trying to make Tom Holland's head, but it just looks like an animated version of him, as you can see, the Amas look. Not to say that it looks bad, but <laughs> it looks nothing like Tom Holland here. Okay, and then the next one is the Silver Surfer that we can see right over there. I think this guy has been released several times already, and this Silver Surfer actually needs to be Unlock at 17,000 backers. Okay, so I think there's a voting system going on to have 17,000 uh, people to sign on to him so that he will be made. I don't know what's the big deal of making this guy because he has been made again and again. And the next one is again pretty interesting. It's like an army builder. We have the shield uh, soldier this time. Yep, this looks wow. <laughs> Look at the amounts of guns that they are giving. Wow, so this is a true figures in one pack and it comes with three different interchangeable heads that we can see so for those of you guys who likes to build an army for your diorama or something this will be a very good choice here and next is my favorite the scroll okay so this time again it's a single pack but i believe this guy will not cost much so if you like to build your skull army this is the one it just comes with an interchangeable heads that you can see. And now let's move on to the SH figures. This is very interesting because the picture just came in today and we have the Mandalorian again. This is a brand new one. I believe he is full armor basker now, but we can see that wow it's very very shiny very chrome uh, as you can see more pictures of him of course he'll be having the chow like a pouch i kind of like the idea of having the pouch there yeah very very nice you have his gun and the gun is not in pink yep <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yep and oh wow this looks very good and he does have a jetpack as well that we can see right over here 
and yes he just comes with that i must hate this time and it's looking pretty darn good my goodness the lightness of the actor is right over there and the, the best thing is the child also have some articulations as well not like the minifax one which is pretty disappointing because it's just a statue yep so this one is looking very good i'm definitely grabbing this guy but that's not all there's another Boba Fett that we can see wow this is another must have I think these two guys announced today is it makes me think like a set you know <laughs> you have to buy two together but I was told that it's being sold separately so it's pretty interesting I think I'll be grabbing these two guys as you can see it's looking very good he has some soft goods over there yep wow this is just very very nice he had the the packs behind and uh, there's a uh, fire effects and the uh, rocket effects this just looks very very nice as well wow and the same as the mandalorian he just comes with an amas head again i think they nailed the likeness spot on i mean this is how he looks like in the movie my goodness this is very very good looking one wow this guy is a must have for those of you who are mandalorian fans i think this is a very good or attempts on Boba Fett okay so these two guys as you can see at the back there are some soft goods over there are the cape of the Mandalorian as well as the lower body of the Boba Fett and as far as <laughs> lightning Isaac Wong has already made some comparison with the very first version 1.0 as you can see right over now that wow you can really see the difference over there like I say this time around it just looks like a full Basker armor there wow this, this looks very very good and yeah i just kind of like the pouch with the child on it and then we also see a comparisons of the child okay it, grogu okay <laughs> grogu yeah so it just looks like a big improvement there i know a lot of you guys actually complains that the shv guards child looks kind of weird with the soft goods when you open it up it's just like a skeleton inside yeah i heard about that even though i don't own that yeah but this time around they don't use soft goods on the uh, grogu anymore it just looks much better this time at least to me and the last picture does show both of them together which is awesome 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 yeah this just looks <laughs> very very nice over here wow i'm definitely grabbing this guy i just hope that they are not any more tamashi web exclusive don't bring up the price guys we need these two in our collections please as you guys know recently the tamashi nation has released both the falcon and the winter soldier which i talked about in my previous toy news yep so uh there are some glitch <laughs> over there that you can see right now and wow this is rather bad pains of the eyes and it's not just falcon it's also the bucky Damn! my goodness and this time around if you look closely enough they are both uh, I think someone actually bought, buy both of them together because you can see the background is the same so this very unlucky customers have both the Falcon and Bucky and a very bad eyes painting so to those of you who actually can choose please 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 choose properly okay but if you're ordering from the online website I'm sorry you just have to depends on your luck whether you will get a good eyes but this is rather rather bad i would say and if you actually buy from the army army i believe keeping my finger crossed that if you do get one of these bad eyes painting maybe you can really you know ask for a replacement yeah you, you you do need to take the pictures of the figures together with the army army brown box don't throw away the brown box because they need to see the brown box as a proof that you actually bought from them so do not throw the brown box first just make sure the eyes everything is okay and then you just throw it remember that guys yeah so this is something that i'd like to point out because it's rather bad pain that i don't think anyone can accept this kind of look <laughs> it's like an alienated kind of falcon and bucky okay Okay, so that's all of the toy news today and I'm very thrilled and very excited about this announcement especially for the Mandalorian and the Boba Fett. So do drop me a note and tell me what's your thoughts about these two guys and uh, whether you'll be grabbing them or you already have the previous one you think that is fine but I do think that these are something like an ultimate one while it's very very nice looking especially with the Amas head of both characters. So hit the thumbs up button if you like this toy news and do consider subscribing to my channel. I have new video up. Uh, almost every alternate day and i'll see you again in my next video as always take care stay safe and thank you for watching